Hey, what's going on, y'all? So today, Cyberpunk 2077 just received a DLS S3 update. Super excited about this. We're ready here. It's about a 6 gig patch update. I already downloaded it. And as you can see right here, we have NVIDIA DLSS. Now, like I said before, DLSS 3 has two types. You have the frame generation one on, and you also have the frame generation off. If you don't want the AI to generate frames, you can turn that off. And you can actually see that here. So with that being said, we're going to start off with frame generation on. So I'm going to flip this on right here. The DS DLSS super resolution. Now for this one, we're going to go with quality real quick just to take a look at that. And we have DLSS sharpness still in here. I'll leave it at, it looks like by default. So I'll leave that there. I'll apply and then I'll go ahead and go out. So I'll put this at quality. All right, and then we'll just go ahead and continue this game. So I have MSI hey, Afterburner hey, on the top left corner so we can take a look and see how much Say, FPS we're getting. All right, so here we are. Like visually playing it I don't see like a visual hit when DLS says is on so but I'm running this okay <laughs> try <laughs> what just killed that dude what how is that possible um I'm running this 90 90 100 frames per second in 4k I'm, I, I just gotta make sure because so i don't have so i have all this okay so hi yeah so this is i maxed all of this out so yeah this is maxed max oh we, we can turn on psycho let's see if we can play in there so let's go psycho settings and we have quality frame generation we're getting 90 frames per second here about 89 so we dropped like maybe eight nine frames going to psycho ray tracing oh shoot i think he's still alive okay he's good all right good i didn't kill him we don't want to do that um but visually i'm looking at this on my 4k monitor 144 hertz this is incredible This is how cyberpunk should be played, okay? Like, if you're on PlayStation console, do not watch videos of this. Do not watch this video. Stop this video right now because it's just gonna upset you because this... This is insane. I'm, I'm, I'm using my keyboard to drive, so I'm sorry. I usually use a controller for driving. All right, so that's good. Let's take a look at dropping the quality down to... Yeah, let's have ray tracing off. You know, if people want to see it with ray tracing off. Actually, actually, I can... I can set it to low here. I'll turn on... DLSS is on. Super resolution. And we'll pull it to, like, quality. So this is low. Quality. Still 4K. A hundred eighty frames per second. And again, visually, from an untrained eye, you're probably looking at this like, this still looks really, really freaking good. I'm actually like really speechless. This is, obviously there's some darker areas in there because ray tracing is off. just see that settings again yeah ray tracing is off let's go with let's go check out ultra performance and see where that's going to land us here so this is low at ultra performance 228 frames per second bro Okay, so, so right now, there's a big argument out there right now, okay? So here, here's the thing. A lot of game developers are complaining about game developers because game developers are not 
optimizing the games as they should and they're relying on DLSS to kind of save their frame rate. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below because I'm curious because a lot of games right now are coming out and I guess they're like hoping for DLSS to fix fix the fi issue like that game uh, Atomic Heart. They're like, wait, just wait, we have DLSS coming. I, I, I don't know, I don't have a problem with that. Unless it's really crappy that DLSS can't save it. Because at the end of the day, you're still relying on your graphics card to run that game anyway. But my goodness. This is amazing. Freaking amazing. Um, I'm gonna stop the video right here. Let me know what settings if you want me to try any other settings Let me know in the comments below Because I am in the middle of the city here And we're getting like 240 frames per second 230 frames per second Yeah, we're gonna dissect this a little bit more um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this right here, and I'll see y'all in the next one.